This is the 2024 Model 3 Refresh, also dubbed the Highland model. I'm not sure where the name comes from, but at the end of the day, this is a very nice upgrade to the original model that we've seen from Tesla. The Model 3 is reborn. It has way more functionalities and way more options than we've seen before. And of course, today we're going to talk about the accessories that you should get if you're deciding to pick up a brand new 2024 Model 3 Refresh. The first thing we're going to start off is obviously mud flaps. They're a really good protection for your own car, obviously, to make sure no debris goes to the side of the car, damaging the side. And it also protects so that you're not flicking or putting any kind of rocks flying behind you to other cars. It comes in a set of four, two for the front, two for the back. And they also include the additional um, screws that you're using there, the plastic ones that are longer than the stock ones that come with your Tesla. Use the new ones with them and you're pretty much set there. There's three in the front, two in the back, as well as a hook for the back option. So we look at the back here, we come back, it looks really nice protects the car and you can see here that the back one also very nice very sturdy connects to the car and it has a nice little clip on the front one in the back and then also one at the bottom that makes it very sturdy and it works on both sides of your car that you definitely should pick up these pucks they come in a set of four they're always going to be necessary if you ever need to actually have your car lifted or anytime where they need to use a lift gate on the side of it because it does actually connect to the car and makes it so that it fits correctly they're included in a set of four very easy they come with their own accessory bag and again a must have for any tesla owner now we're going to take a look at floor mats now this set actually came with all of the mats that we need including one for the trunk that enables us to actually open up the bottom uh, hidden compartment also has its own little option for it as well and in this one is nice and long enough and very thin it covers but it leaves the two open spots for us on the new 20, uh, 2024 model 3 open that's one of the new additions that they did here is they gave us an additional uh, spot here on the right as opposed to just having one on the left okay so one of the other things that we really loved with the model uh, the original model 3 is the fact that we actually had the grocery hook now this is something hey right there this was something that was always very nice and very useful very easy to install the one thing i'll say is the screw that we're used to seeing for this is sitting all the way in the back so that's something to keep in mind as you can see it sits right here next to the light again a little bit further in than what we're used to seeing here with the original model 3 but we still have access to it and it's strong enough to carry three bags and it makes it so that nothing kind of flails all over the place in the trunk they need to include one for the front because this actually provides us in case any kind of spillage goes on if you have any groceries sitting in here any food it'll protect it and you don't have to kind of mop it up and of course it goes without saying that the uh, floor mats not only also include one for the driver one for the passenger and a very nice long one for the rear for the back side so you're always protected you're going to be able to make sure that in case any mud any dirt anything anything everything stays in here you take it out you clean it and put it back and you're ready to go and the back seat actually is entirely one piece that connects under you the driver's seat the passenger seat and even the uh, nice little console area and then we're obviously going to be talking about that little nice bucket that sits right under the display the next accessory we're going to talk about is an actual armrest cover one of the things that always bothered me with the original model three was that over time this actually absorbs a lot of oil and it does have a little bit of staining on it well speaking does make actually a very nice and very good cover that fits right over it and it looks absolutely fantastic makes it easy to use very much the same configuration nothing added nothing lost and the big thing that i'll probably say is overall this will protect your actual cover over time and you don't have to worry about it now the next thing we're going to talk about obviously is a set of trays they do come with the trays the for the back as well as the front this one obviously has a nice little coin area and it also has an opening in the back providing us the ability of running the single USB-C port that we have positioned on this new Tesla Model 3 24. They removed the two front USB-Cs that we used to have in the front big compartment. There's now only one sitting in the back. And for that, we are going to need to actually connect a USB-C hub. And that's because one of the things that you won't be able to do is obviously connect anything inside of the big area. I bought a 90 degree angle with a standard USB-C hub that actually also includes USB-A hubs, connected one of my thumb drives and a charging cable, making it very easy and very configurable for us. It sits in the back and we don't have to worry about connecting it. And then, of course, the tray goes over it and everything closes up very nicely. One of the things we always wanted in the original Model 3s was a better configuration to hold smaller cups. In a, this is something that Tesla addressed. Now we have now these little ridges sitting here, but it still didn't give us any configuration to be able to clean inside of it. So now the actual cup holder has a nice little inlay. You can see it, it's sitting here. You have the ability of removing it, taking it out, cleaning it very easily. And all of this still fits within the new compartment that covers this, uh, the cup holders in the Model 3. That's something that we also have new from the original model that used to be an open area. Now it 
it actually has its own cover and its own bottom protection. Probably notice this actually looking like a little hub here. And this is actually something that is very nice. I'll go ahead and move this cable. It matches the color and the trim that we have from both the cup holder cover as well as the big area, uh, the compartment that we have in here. And the nice thing about it is when it fits, it actually looks like it's part of the car. Provides us the ability of having an extended USB-C cable that extends very nicely, but it also includes a, an Apple charger. So in case you're using some uh, an original Apple uh, device that does not have USB-C, now you have the ability of charging it without any problem. And when you don't need it, you just put that in there, the adapter stays in there. And of course, we still have a full-size USB as well as another USB-C for charging. When it's done, you can either put it in, configure it this way, and it sits very nice and flush. And the nice thing about it is they also include the tray that you see at the bottom here, since it actually connects to the car charger that's positioned now in the big compartment. That's another change that they did from the original Model 3s. They moved it from the one in the back down here. So now that configures there, a tray goes over it. You can put your nice converter here in case you need to keep it with you. It runs to the top, connects in here, and the easy thing about it is it's actually very easy to remove. You just basically move it this way. And then when you want to put it in, align it, get it configured, align it to where it needs to be, and then you can close it. And the last thing, of course, since we actually need to talk about the trays, that tray that I showed you guys with the big compartment, it also does include an additional one that we're able to put in here. And this one now has the ability of sliding in because the configuration or the model here that we have has a deeper in, uh, area in the back. So now you can actually put it to the back, put it to the front, and it still has a nice little area to keep everything tucked away very nicely. Next thing we're going to talk about is an accessory for our display. This is a glass protector that comes, that works perfectly for our new display on the front. And Spigen also makes, which is the maker of this one, a display cover for the one in the back, providing us an anti-glare function and also providing us protection. So because it's glass, it's protecting the display for any accidental dings, but also provides us glare protection in case any kind of angle of the sun hitting it. And as you can see here, it works really nice. Touch configuration works very, very good. There's no issue. I'm able to control the car. Everything needs to be done it can be accessed in here. And then really nice thing about this it actually works the exact same way for the rear display nicely configured you're able to connect to it use it um, all the different options that you have in here all the games everything works great and it's an anti-glare display makes it very nice and functional if you want to turn it on you turn it on and you turn it off and it just goes away we do have an additional two USB-C ports here. This is still the same from what we had last year. But the nice thing that I like about this is this is something that I carried over from my last Model 3. This is this uh, nice little bucket here that enables me to actually carry the joystick, the controller, any kind of headset that I want to be able to put here for when my son wants to be able to watch movies, listen to anything in the back without interrupting everybody in the car. The nice option that I like about this display, A, it's new, it's in the Model 2024, but it also works when we're driving. So there actually is the ability of watching movies on Netflix, uh, again, YouTube, either Hulu or even on Twitch without having the need to be able to be in parked position like the front display. So it's protected, works great, connectivity, charging, as well as gaming. To close out all the accessories that we have right now in the car is this nice little fabric mesh. This one happens to be from my Model 3 2023, a 2021 edition, and it still works here on the 2024 edition. The, make th the main thing about it is just make sure you put in the hooks configured correctly, and you don't put anything around the speaker at the back, and this will provide us a little bit extra protection on top of the tinting that we have on the top part of the car in case it gets a little bit warm in the car. So it's definitely very nice protection, and it's easily removed in case you want to be able to just take it away. So we saw some accessories for the outside part of the car, the inside part of the car. I think the uh, cover guard or the mud flaps are definitely an important part for the car on the outside. I still need to tint the car and of course maybe some additional color options for maybe customizing the gray that we have. This is a Stealth Gray 24 edition. Uh, the floor mats, very nice. It includes everything that you get in there. The uh, nice little hub there for power charging, I find that it really looks nice and it matches the car. All the accessories that I showed you guys today, obviously, are to be able to give you a better experience with the car and make it a little bit more enjoyable. Did I wish Tesla included a lot of those in the car? Yes. Do you need them? Not everything, but hopefully you found something that works for you. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.